welcome to LJP Channel. Hi everyone, it's me once again. It's Friday uh, and we're just about to have the Christmas break. So it's a, probably the last day of work for most of you all. So I hope you have a fantastic break from now on. It's all over um, for 2018. So we're expecting 2019. It's going to be very, very interesting indeed. We're expecting a lot of gadget coming along. So I'm going to make a video soon in regards to that. Anyway. I was due to make this video two days ago, but I was having a lot of Christmas parties, um, two in a row, very tiring, and um, I should have really made it uh, then. But anyway, I'm just going to show you um, a robot here, okay? So what it is, is called Lobot, and um, unlike the um, Vector that we have here, or, or the Jibo we had, Jibo and Vector, the whole point was it's an information source provider and had a bit of a cute interaction here. But unlike the, these robots that we uh, already have, uh, Robot will have none of these functions. It won't even deliver you the uh, coffee um, or fetch anything for you. It's purely just for a cute uh, well, it's designed to be loved. That's what they said, the article here that I'm reading at the moment. And it was designed by someone actually who worked for Pepper, uh, so who created uh, or developer of um, a robot Pepper. And his name is Kaname Hayashi. And um, well, good luck to him because we are expecting a lot of interesting robots. But anyway, this robot is basically a robot, a machine, but it's designed to be loved, as I said. So it, it is used to be as cuddling. If you're stressed, if you come home, I guess this robot will look at you. It won't even speak, uh, by the way. It will have a expression in its eyes with a tiny monitor. And um, it will have a bit of a temperature as well and a bit of a fur on it. So you could cuddle it, and you, and it will recognize you. It will be, it will have a bit of an intelligence as well. Let's say if you were mean to Lobot, and uh, Lobot recognize your face, which I think it could recognize up to two thousand people or one hundred people at the same time in the same event, uh, it will recognize you and it will walk away from you like a, I guess a, a dog. So, and the price tag for this robot, by the way, is. Um, three thousand dollars so you're gonna think well should I spend three thousand dollars to get a robot that cannot speak but makes animal ish noise and recognizes me but it's asking for cuddling or should I get a, a vector which is only apparently now Christmas sale two hundred dollars or two hundred pounds so I guess it's a certain win for uh, vector but in fact I uh, I would like to say don't underestimate Japanese uh, people. They are very clever people. There must be a certain reason they're developing this. I guess one of the senses that, you know, one of the sad thing about me when I used to, when we used to own the dog is that there's always this concern that the life has, life expectancy is what, 15 years maybe max? Well, as this robot, if you really like it, if you get along with it, it could be a lifetime friend. But then again, is it really cute? I don't really think it is. It has this sort of a sensor, like a hat, um, some sort of like a Coca-Cola placed on its head and it doesn't even have a mouse. So I don't know, but apparently, which the article says here that I'm reading, these sort of things tend to make a big hit in Japan because Japanese people seem to like this cuddly, cute uh, elements that they see. They like tiny things. That's why they come up with these, um, I guess, as a Korean myself, uh, I think I can see why they come up with these as tiny, efficient laptop, which is very good. I, I'm a great fan of that. Um, but now I think people are moving on in some way for that. I don't know. I mean, but um, it's an interesting robot. My thoughts, um, I can't see at this stage it's going to make any hit in the West um, unless someone is filthy rich and... Um, oh. <laughs> is responding uh, unless uh, sorry so unless someone is really rich and unless someone 
uh, is a collection, great collection, collector of several robots. I cannot see this happening at this stage. So, what do you think? I mean, it seems that they already created a channel and they're getting a lot of views and attention. I just want to uh, bring your heads up on this one um, if you're interested. If you're fil filthy rich and if you want to treat yourself, um, good news, it's for you. The Japanese robot is going to be available by end of 2019 and purely the reason for £3,000 initial cost is to cover the manufacturing cost and then the, it sort of seems to indicate that the cost will eventually go down but then again £3,000 I think it's $3,000 sorry it's it covers the cost for two robots and it actually had a name apparently but there's no point well oh, who knows I mean um, this article that I'm reading doesn't seem to indicate it. I think I read from the other article that two of us seems to have different names and you could call them, but it doesn't speak back to you and it's purely to acting as a pet and you could buy a decent pet puppy for $500 up to, well the good ones are $1,000, but this robot that cannot speak like human or do any cool smart home control and etc is three thousand dollars it's amazing how people underestimate the consumer's um budget um and like even though you're a billionaire really do you want to buy that i don't know i mean i would like to see it happen i but as i said never underestimate uh, Japanese people because they are extremely clever people I'm sure there's a great idea there all respect to them and all the best luck but um, if I have to choose that and the Korean robot developer uh, of Laiku I would definitely go for Laiku at this stage because it makes more sense and it's actually two thousand dollars Laiku and um, you could do more function as well so isn't it more about function or is it, is it about cuteness um, it's an interesting stage. We're going to see a lot of robots coming along and I think 2019 is going to be a very interesting year for smart home robot. We shall see, but heads up, Lobot is uh, going to be available for you by the end of uh, next year, 2019. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you like this link and also I'm going to put some link down below for the description of, um, well, the explanation of the the robot itself and also hopefully i will be able to paste some of the youtube video link as well so enjoy and um i'll see you soon and please enjoy friday night because it's a brilliant night all the best bye bye